What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So let's go ahead and get started with what you're going to need to make this work. So go ahead and download Smart Launcher 6 and we're going to set that as a default home launcher. Download 4D Parallax Wallpaper. Download Wicons or the Pasty Icon Pack. And then if you want to update your widget to look like it does in the picture, go ahead and download KWGT widget and then download the Lion KWGT. We're going to be using L28. And now we are back at the home screen launcher. This is going to be One UI 5. Let's go ahead and open up the Play Store and download those applications here. So remember, it was Smart Launcher 6. We're going to go ahead and install that one. Next, we can go ahead and download Pasty White Icon Pack. It's free. My favorite one is Wicons, which looks like this here. Whoops. If you want to use this one, I also recommend using this one as well. Next thing that we're going to download, make sure that you have KWGT Custom Widget Maker. If you have the Play Pass, this is part of it, which is fantastic. And then go ahead and download 4D. Here we go. This is the one that you want, 4D Parallax Wallpaper. Start that downloading. And then remember, if you want that widget that was shown, we're gonna be going with the Lion. Should be able to search for, there we go. Lion KWGT. Go ahead and install that. That'll be everything that you need. Now let's go ahead and search back to our Smart Launcher because we want to go ahead and set that as our default launcher. Get started, agree to terms, continue. This is one of my favorite launchers, I trust it. I think that it's been one of the easiest ways to customize your device and I just like how everything looks up here. So this is where we are right now. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna to want to set our wallpaper and theme. I have mine already set, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and theme everything together. So go ahead and let's um, open back up the Play Store or just navigate to the 4D Parallax, it doesn't matter. Either way you, that you do it, just open up this application here, hit continue, and it might have an ad that shows for you guys, I'm not really sure. Um, sometime this app, it wants you to watch an ad in order to download a wallpaper. I'm gonna tap this one here, gives you a preview. This one is beautiful. Of course, pick whichever one that you like, but see here where it says watch ad to get, Developers keeping that application free, just gotta watch the ad to support them. Totally fine. I'm gonna watch this ad and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I just finished watching the ad and here is how this wallpaper is gonna look. So here's what I recommend if you want to theme your phone. Go ahead and take a screenshot right here and then tap on it and then go ahead and hit menu button here, the three dots on the bottom right, set as wallpaper, home and lock screen and go ahead and set on the home and lock screen. And the reason that we're doing this is we want Samsung to, or we want One UI to go ahead and pull the colors out of the wallpaper. Because once you set this wallpaper through the 4D Parallax application, it's not gonna give you the option to, it's just gonna directly set the wallpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And now I'm gonna go ahead and head right back over here. Now that I've went ahead and themed my device, now go to set wallpaper, home and lock screen and you should be good to go now. So there, this already looks amazing. I love, love, love this wallpaper. It is really well done. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So the what I like to do is right at the bottom where it has Smart Search, if you hold your finger down on that and press Configure, um, go ahead and tap where it says Custom Hint Text. Here, you can put anything that you want, your name, anything that you want. I went ahead and put your awesome end of story. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that one like I had before. <laughs> really love this here. All right, put that down, boom. And the other thing that you can do is if you hit skin, you can have it set to ambient or you could change. I kind of like how the rounded one looked, but at this point, you just go ahead and put whatever style that you like. All right, so another thing that you can do is go ahead and resize this if you want to. You can do it like that. This looks good just like it is, but if we keep going, touch inside of an empty space, go ahead and go back to global appearance 
And the next thing we want to do is go to grid properties. And on the home page, I really like to set mine to four columns. And then I like to set my rows to 10 columns. Looks pretty good like this. And then on the app page, I kind of like it to go to use a custom configuration. And then for my portrait columns, I actually like those to also be at four columns. I think four columns looks nice. And then I just kind of like my uh, landscape to be at seven. I just think it looks nice like this. So the next thing is if you go to icon appearance here, make sure that your icon pack, go ahead and hit pasty free if you haven't yet. Uh, app page, use custom configuration. I actually like to leave this at default so that all of my applications are in fact in color. We got those two done. Okay. From here, you can go ahead and just kind of, you can add to it or remove. I like mine to be two rows here. I think this looks nice. This is looking really good already. I mean, technically you could stop here and you're good to go. But you see how it has the time twice? I don't like that. So tap inside of an empty space and then go back up to global appearance. And if you scroll down to the bottom where it says screen and where you see status bar visibility, I like for mine to be hidden. So now when you go home, you'll have this cleaner look. This looks really nice. Now, another thing that you can actually do is if you want to go ahead and get rid of this widget here, if you want to, and then we're going to go ahead and tap in an empty space and uh, oh, actually, sorry, tap in an empty, hold down in an empty space and tap add widget and then go ahead and go down to the KWGT. Um, I like to use the four by four usually. So I'm going to bring this one down. And if you hold down on it, you can resize it. So I have my resize like this. And now when you tap here, it should open it up. Now we went ahead, you should have already installed the Lion KWGT. Now you pick any one of these that you want to. This is just the one that I was scrolling and I liked. So I went with that one, which is the L28. So tap on this. And then from here, there's a couple different ways that you can actually edit this. If you just hit save, you're gonna get this look here. This, this looks pretty nice as it is, but tap inside and we, would, we don't want the top part to be cut off. So what I like to do here is right there, I make sure that automatic zoom is turned on. And then where it says items, tap here. And then um, let's see here, I like to go to, here we go, position. And then for the Y offset, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one at 37, actually. Let me do it this way here. There we go. Hit the plus here, let's go to 37. There, that looks nice. All right, so I'm gonna hit save there. And then also, let's see. So I like my Y offset like that. And then let's see, I think this looks pretty good. So for layer, um, you can put this at whatever number that you want. Uh, typically, I know that I have mine here set to, for this particular one, uh, 85. Should be pretty good. This should be pretty good right here. Hit save. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, it looks pretty good. I like it. Tap back on it. And then another thing that I like to do is if you go to uh, touch, uh, this is kind of nice. If you touch here, go ahead and touch where it says custom action because what you can do is actually have it launch an application. Now in the empty space here below launch app, go ahead and pick what app that you want to open. I personally so far have mine set to calendar. And so go ahead and hit save. And the nice thing about this is now when you tap on the widget, you're gonna get your calendar. So this is pretty handy. And of course, if you hold your finger on the widget, you can move it, you know, wherever you want it to be. You can have it at the top if you choose. Um, I like mine's to be down here, <laughs> but you put yours where you want it to be. Of course you can rotate everything. It's gonna look great. Um, and so this is pretty much the look that I have going a whole lot more custom, you know, customizing that you can actually do in here. Um, so make sure that you go through and kind of get everything else set up. One major tip that I will say uh, that I actually did to really hook up my lock screen. Uh, I think I put this inside of a separate video, but uh, go ahead and click here if you want to see how I have my lock screen set up. It's really cool, really neat and just brings your entire screen to life. And thanks for watching. I'll see you inside the next video.